Okay, now I'm getting out in front of the hospital, and I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the number that they give us to call, which they've got their own 800 number, just like the VA Compensation Pension has their own number. And it's so that... showing you out front of the VA hospital. And as you can see, people are still driving around in circles. We got a lot of trucks coming to work on the hospital next door though. who is the director of the VA giving me directions scheduling and outpatient clinics I think I'll push that patient response center which is where it forward it says if I'm having an emergency I can hang up and call 911 and now I'm going to wait on the phone and again I'm, I'm out front <laughs> I could walk there right now and actually walk up to the entrance A very large hospital. I imagine it does take a lot of employees to operate that. And I'm not sure how many patients are here on a daily basis. Obviously, you know, right there you've got a river, so as far as areas to expand a parking lot, they really don't have any. Those are just big drop-offs that go over to the river. So they've gotten themselves in a pretty good pickle right here. I'm still listening to music for the patient response center. And I've got time to walk around and... remember I'm not physically able to do a whole bunch but I just want everyone to see what it is that that we do go through here and it is a shame I'm still waiting on the patient response center And my call is very important to them. So I've got a camera laying on top of my car looking at the hospital. I'm still on hold. And there was nowhere for me to park to pull over to call them.
As I can tell, none of these cars right here in the front of the parking lot have moved. I've seen several cars come through here uh, looking for parking spaces. But I imagine now, now the police are coming up to me and they're meeting with me and I'm still on hold with the patient advocate. He's wanting me to get back in my car. Now mind you, I've got my flashers on and I am sitting in a an area that's not designated as a parking spot. So I imagine he's gonna have me turn the camera off. Hopefully not. How we doing, sir? I'm fine. I'm a, I'm a veteran as well as with Help Indiana Vets. I mean no harm to you. Hey, you got uh, some I'm ID, recording. sir? Yeah, I sure do. Thank you. I'm, on the, I'm on the phone right now with, trying to, with the VA, trying to tell them that I've spent 30 minutes driving around this parking lot yes, attempting to find a parking space. And what I'm looking for, there's my retired Army ID, here's my VA ID, there's my guard. But you guys, I'm frustrated for the veterans. Well, I'm going to help you out right now. Okay. Okay, because I can fix your parking problem. Right now, I've got a solution for you. Yeah, but the I reason I just seen, I thought you were broke down, but then I seen you with the video camera. Yeah. You can't be filming federal vehicles. Since when? It's always been just like a military installation. You can't be filming federal like that, just so you know, okay? I'm going to give you my card because this. Since I've been going through this, I'm trying to help. Roger. I mean, if you were going to film the property, you have to go through the, the public affairs office. Right? But you can't just be filming. Well, it's because they don't want to see me. I know, I know for you. I but know you know we have two off-site parking areas? We have two off-site areas with three buses. I don't want to. I'm sure many of the, bus, the veterans don't want to ride a bus here. A lot of them do. Sir, it's only five minutes away. We have two lots that we park in boys and, and veterans. Well, I'm probably maybe five, ten years away from being in a wheelchair. We actually, we actually, have, we actually have, we actually do have two buses, sir, with wheelchair lifts on. You so, know as well as I do that all these cars here, I'm, I'm willing to bet you a lot of those are employees. Yes, sir. Um, there's a good possibility. There's a real good possibility. But I, I can tell you right now, sir, Every time I catch them, two weeks ago I was out here wrote 18 employees, $90 a piece, two tickets. Plus it goes up for administrative office. But I mean, and and I and I, I was fair in the fact that I I showed Richard Hospital and I said, look, you know, this is we used to have parking over there. We used yeah, to they took parking. it all back with the construction. But you know, we're, hopefully our garage is going to be done shortly. We're trying, and I, I I get just as frustrated. I'm a veteran, sir. I come here, I work here. And I deal with you every day. But I'm gonna give you something. Okay.
officer was very nice. He talked to me and he gave me a map and he showed me where there's a couple more parking spaces. So apparently what they've done now is they've made it where the veterans can park their cars uh, about well it's from 10th street to 22nd street past that to cold spring estates uh which really that's not convenient for a veteran to go to uh, another parking lot off location and ride a bus i know we're all uh used to that in the military riding a lot of buses but you know i told him and he agreed that uh this is a little bit extreme what they're putting the veterans through uh this other one apparently is at 2333 lafayette road which again we're we're sitting on 10th street this is not lafayette road uh, but he was very cordial he did not you know you know rough me up or take my camera or anything uh, you know they're as frustrated as the veterans are um, you know and I as soon as I did get an answer on the phone like right now I'll show you that if I can get it to zoom in here I guess I won't but it's uh, 1044 <laughs> so I've called and talked to patient services and they told me that it really and I'm not kidding this is her exact words it really uh, S-U-C-K-S -S so when you have the patient representative telling you that this really sucks um, I find it really ironic Anyway, I'm not going to go down uh, to those other parking areas. 